Hello programmers and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to use UI date picker for UI text field. Date picker is similar to drop down menu. It can be formatted to different modes like date, time, both date and time, and also a timer. Date picker will prevent user from entering unwanted or wrong text compared to a normal keyboard. So it will set a constraint over the user just to pick a date, you know. So that's a, that's why you, you want to use date picker when you require a date like birthday. So that's that. I'm currently on Xcode 12.0.1, which you can see it here and on Swift 5.3, which you can see it here. This is the command which you can use inside terminal and it will show you your current version of Swift. And so let me show you what to expect. Here I recently created a sample project and I have a label and a text field. When you click on the text field, instead of viewing a keyboard, what you see is a date picker. Uh, and you can select a date here and you can hit done. So let's get started. I'll close this and close this and here close this and uh, let's start with a new project and I'll say birthday field and make sure interface is storyboard and language is Swift. Hit next and save it wherever you like. And I'll make I'll make sure the the simulator is iPhone 11 and make this full screen. So let's start with the designing part. First, we will drag and drop a text field right in the center. So find it, find your center. And here I'll say horizontally in center and vertically in container, not center. And once you are done with that part, click on this one, the one which is, I think that's a horizontal line. Uh, and here we will say 50 and hit enter. So it will come a little down and uh, we will give it more constraints. So it's supposed to be 100 from left. So 100 from left and we'll say 100 from right and hit enter. And this is what we get. Next thing we will drag and drop a label and put it right here somewhere. Uh, don't worry about the position or constraint. We will give it once we are done customizing it. And I like Avenir next and it should be bold and make the size 30. And also we will change the color to uh, dark gray and which looks pretty good. And you can place the label here and we will say birthday and hit enter. And we will uh, modify the text field as well. So we will say custom and once again, Avenir next. But this time, instead of bold, we will choose medium and size it up to 20. So we, we still need to give constraint to our birthday so that we get rid of this. So uh, make sure you press your control key and click and drag over the text field. And here you will say vertical spacing, leading, trailing and that should be fine. And we will also give it a fixed height of whatever it is, which is 41, I think, and hit uh, add and uh, no more warnings here. Next thing, click on this and we can uh, connect our UI, uh, our text field to our code. So here, make sure you choose view controller.swift and here, go back here and we will Control click and drag the text field over here and we'll say birthday field or you can say birthday txt, whatever. So birthday field as of now. And we are done with the storyboard part. Uh, you know what, still let's uh, run and see how it looks. So, yep. And, and here, uh, looks pretty good when you click on the text field uh, we don't see, we don't even see the keyboard, but if you press command K, uh, you will see the keyboard, but we don't want this keyboard, you know, I, as you can see, user can enter anything he wish, but we just want birthday. That's why we will use a date picker. So let's get started with the date picker here. First, we will create a constant, which we will say date picker, and this is going to be UI date picker and make sure you have the parentheses. And we don't want this. First, we will go ahead and create the toolbar. If you remember, we had a done button here. So let's work on that first. So we will say func uh, create toolbar.
toolbar and we will return UI toolbar. So UI, UI toolbar and uh, brackets. And here we will say first, let's create a toolbar. So toolbar, uh, let toolbar is equal to UI toolbar. And here we will say toolbar dot size to fit so that it occupies the whole width of the screen. And now we will create our done button. So done button. So it's going to be done and you can say done btn and here you will say ui bar button item open the brackets and you will choose this and this the style will be dot done and target will be nil and action will be nil uh, for now action will be nil we will change it later so let done button and nil what's wrong uh, we still have to use it somehow so we will say toolbar dot set items and here we will say done uh, btn and make sure animated is true so you can say true i don't know what's wrong uh here let done button and what's wrong with this done btn uh okay looks fine now and here we will return our toolbar so that should be fine so now let's go ahead and create our picker view uh date picker so we will say func uh, create date picker and return and there's something wrong with the spelling so date uh, picker and here first we will assign a date picker to our text field. So we will say birthday field dot input view. It's going to be our date picker, date picker. And oh, uh, it's our variable. So make sure it's date picker. And here you will say birthday field dot input accessory view. And here you will assign our toolbar. So you can just say create toolbar. And let's call the function inside our view that load and see uh, how it looks now. So create date picker and hit run. So a shortcut is command R. And when you click here now, so this is what I was talking about. Uh, this is a new date picker from uh, which you get from iOS 14. So Apple changed its date picker design and it looks pretty good, but you can still if you just uh, if you don't want to use the text field, you can just have date picker here instead. It will still occupy this same height. But for now, we are trying to assign date picker to our text field. So the best way is to use the spin wheel. So we will do that first. So here uh, for date picker, you will say date picker, and here say date picker uh, date picker mode. Of course, we will work on that, but here I think uh, you'll say date picker preferred date picker style equal to here, and you will say dot wheels, and let's run it and see again. And when you click here, uh, we also see the done button, and we have a picker view here. But as it's supposed to be a birthday, we don't need time, so we will change the format to date picker uh, dot date picker mode, and here you will say dot date so just date and run again and this time we only just get date but here as you can notice the done button is still not working so let's work on the done button now here we'll create one more function we will say done uh, pressed and and here we will say self dot view dot end editing and force true and i uh, will assign this to the action so here we'll say ash uh, Hashtag selector and you will say done pressed and make sure you have at OBJC here so that it works fine and let's try to run and see whether our done button works or not. So when you press done the the input view disappears but we still don't see text in our text field so let's fix that and here we'll say Mm, self dot date picker dot oh uh, it's going to be our text field so we will say birthday field dot text 
equal to and here we will use string interpolation and we'll say date picker uh, dot date and let's run so here uh, make sure you notice we we just have a date but when you hit done you you get the whole thing like it has time and everything we don't want that so we need we need a way to format the date and here inside done pressed we will create a date formatter so let date uh, formatter equals to date formatter formatter here and we will say date formatter uh, dot date style and here we will say medium and you can play around with this stuff and date formatter dot time style and here we will say none so this is the date formatter and we will use that to generate our string so we'll say date formatter dot string and from date will uh, it's going to be date picker dot date and let's run the app and see how it looks so when you click on the text field we get date uh, you go ahead and choose a date and hit done and looks pretty good so the only thing remaining is we need to put this text in the center uh, I, I prefer it in center you can leave it as it is but uh, let's make it centered so here we will say and let's separate this part so we'll say birthday field dot text alignment and here we'll just say center and it should work completely fine so click here and choose a date and looks pretty good uh, one last thing so the text field it's still black but i want it to be consistent with the label so we will change it to dark gray and let's run the app for one last time and click here choose a pick a date and hit done and it's done so that's how you use date picker with ui text field uh, if you guys have any questions or comments you can go ahead and post them in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to hit like and please subscribe for future videos i'll see you guys next time